Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Today I've got myself a wee snack from Poundland. It's by a reasonably well-known brand, I would say, although it's not one of those ones you get in every supermarket. But this is Milka, which includes Chips Ahoy. As you can see, there's a sort of Chips Ahoy layer. Chips Ahoy, I don't think is a particularly big brand over here, if a brand at all, really. Um, it's cookies, basically. Chips Ahoy are cookies. They're American cookies. Um, I used to get them all the time when I lived in Canada, but I don't know if you really get Chips Ahoy here. Um, they're nothing special, to be honest. They're just cookies. It's a cookie brand, right? And they have different versions of their cookies and stuff, but this appears to be their normal sort of chocolate chip with the Milka chocolate. And Milka chocolate tends to be quite milky and uh, creamy and delicious. So hopefully this combines two very nice things and I'm expecting this will probably be very nice. I mean, she seems to be enjoying it. So there you go. It's made from 100% alpine milk, as you can see. Alpine milk chocolate. And it's sustain sustainably sourced cocoa as well, which is good. So I don't know if Milka... Chips Ahoy is in, like an American brand. I don't know if Milka is an American brand as well or owned by an American company. I guess we'll maybe read the info on here and see because I was always under the impression that Milka was like German or something like that. Um, I don't know where I got that idea from but I, I've always figured it was European of some kind but we'll find out. I suppose it could have been originally. You know what America's like, they buy up all the companies and the real estate, they buy, buy off all their politicians and that's going down a rabbit hole, let's not do that. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Ultimately, what matters is if this is tasty. So this is chocolate con leche de los Alpes con trozos. That's the Spanish on there. Is there English? It should be English. <laughs> um, Spanish is the first language on it, which makes me think maybe it's a Spanish chocolate. Uh, let me see. PT. What's that? Port? PT? Is that port? Portuguese? Um, Italian. Netherlands. Uh, GB, there you go. Uh, Alpine milk chocolate with biscuit pieces. 12% with chocolate and with biscuit flavour filling. 38%. So it's got, has it got like pieces of biscuit and then it's got a biscuit filling as well? Who knows? I guess we'll find out when we start eating it. Uh, so yeah, not a lot of ingredients. It's a reasonably short ingredients list there if you wanted to pause the video and have a look. But... It's quite taking up quite a lot of space. It's got all the different languages, so I guess it's it's for the European market. Um, so they probably sell the same bar in other European countries, even though we are not in the EU anymore. We are still a European country. Uh, that whole situation makes me feel very sad, but whatever. Uh, so Milka.com. They've got a website. It's uh, Mondelez UK Cadbury House, Sanderson Road. Cadbury House. Does that mean it's a Cadbury thing? Because Cadbury is owned by, what are they called? A big American company, the one that owns Twinkies. They're owned by them. Oh, all of these things. I mean, I'm pretty sure when you trace it back, most food products and stuff we have in the house is all owned by like three or four mega corporations. So I'm sure it's owned by one of them. Uh, but they have an address in Uxbridge, which is at the Cadbury house. There you go. All right, let's have a look at our nutritional information so this is a i'm assuming this is a 100 gram bar yeah 100 gram bar and uh 20 grams equals three squares rectangles five times three equals a bar of milka so they've got five portions they're saying three squares as a portion which seems fair enough that's reasonable that's about normal um of course what i do when i buy a big chocolate bar like this is i'll i probably won't eat the whole thing in one go uh, but I'll, I'll will usually eat at least half of this. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. I'm actually not that hungry just now. I just chose to do this video because I needed to record something. So I probably won't eat a lot of it. But we'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Uh, so what have we got? Um, da -da -da -da. So we'll go by the 20 gram thing. I could just tell you what the whole bar is. The whole bar is 566 calories if you're going to snuff the whole bar. Uh, 113 calories per 20 grams, 7.2 grams of fat, 4.1 grams of saturates, both quite high, uh, 11 grams of carbs, which is higher than most chocolate bars because there must be quite a lot of biscuit in here, uh, what's that, Sh of which sugar, 10 grams, 
uh, 0.3 grams of fiber, 1 gram of protein, and 0.05 grams of salt. So high in the saturated fat, but ultimately it's just chocolate, you know. Chocolate's not good for you overall, but it tastes good, so I don't care. I really don't care. Right. Okay. I just realized if this is an American thing, or Chips Ahoy is an American thing, I'm actually oddly um, well well dressed, <laughs> wearing an American football shirt. But here we go, right. Let's um, have a look here. So here's your bar, milk, it says Milka. I can really smell the cookie. I can smell the chocolate chip cookie, which is interesting. Right, I'm gonna break it off, see if we see the, the inside. Oh, there you go, look. It's a whole layer of biscuit. That's cool. Right, so it's more like a biscuit bar. It's more like a, not a chocolate bar, it's more like a biscuit. Like a really big biscuit. A really big chocolate biscuit, you know, like a big Kit Kat. <laughs> Which would be awesome, but that's why they invented Kit Kat Chunky, right? Um, cool, all right, this smells nice, it looks nice. So this is Milka Chips Ahoy. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? Now that's interesting. It's it's like a chocolate bar and a biscuit, but not really either. Um, like the chocolate is really nice. It is really it's milky, it's tasty, it's sweet, it's good. The biscuit. It's good, it's got crispiness to it. A little bit of crunch. I want to say it's not soft like when you have like a stale cookie. It's not soft at all, but it doesn't have as much bite or as much crunch as you would get out of like a if you're a chocolate coated biscuit, which makes it does makes it feel more like a chocolate bar than a biscuit bar, which is, I guess is what they're aiming for. But biscuit biscuit is nice. Adds a little bit of crunch, a little bit of texture, but without stealing the show. So it doesn't become just a cookie with chocolate all over it. It's really nice. You get the every now and then you get a wee chocolate chip from the cookie as well, and it adds that little wee burst of chocolate in your mouth. Mmm, that is really nice. It's not, it's definitely doesn't feel like a chocolate biscuit like it sounds like a chocolate biscuit but it's not there's not enough biscuit for it to be a chocolate biscuit and I, I like that I like that a lot because it's like if you're in the mood for chocolate but you're also kind of in the mood for biscuits but you didn't want to just eat a biscuit you wanted more chocolate and biscuit this is ideal this is definitely more chocolate than biscuit. Even though technically I think it is more biscuit than chocolate. <laughs> it tastes more like chocolate than a biscuit. So it's like chocolate but with the biscuity texture to it. And you do get that nice flavour from the cookie as well. Hmm. That is delicious. Hard to describe but that is really, really good. I really like that. Mmm. That's some good chocolate, I have to say. That is milky, creamy, delicious chocolate. Mmm. Yeah, wow. There you go. Milka. With chips ahoy, who knew? Certainly not me. That was... I was expecting that to be nice, to be fair. 
I wasn't expecting that to be bad. I was expecting it to be nice. I was, I was maybe expecting it to be a bit crunchier, a bit harder. Because Chips Ahoy cookies, they don't tend to be soft. They tend to be hard cookies. Which is fine, but that's what I was expecting. But it's not... Like I say, it's biscuit's not soft. It's still crunchy. It's just because it's thin. It's not... There's no, no real effort needed to, to bite into it, which is nice. You know, very... Very nice on the teeth. I don't, it's not going to break my teeth eating it. It might rot them to hell with all the sugar, but they're not going to break. So yeah, tasty. Really tasty. Lovely chocolate. Nice texture. Delicious. I would 100% buy that again. And I think that was only a pound. Out of pound land, which is good going, especially right now. Everything's going up in price. It's absurd how much everything's going up in price, especially food. The way things are going just now, it's crazy. But, yeah, delicious. Would recommend. Definitely give it a go. Well, that'll do for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get wee notifications anytime a new video pops up. Which would be every Wednesday and Sunday, by the way. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have yourselves a fantastic day. Go get yourself some nice chocolate. And enjoy the sunshine. I'm assuming it's sunny wherever you are just now, given the time of the year that this video is going out. If it's not sunny, well, sit back and relax with a nice bit of telly and a bit of chocolate. That's the ideal ideal thing for a, a nice rainy day. Uh, but enough of my life advice rubbish. I'll catch you guys later. See you. Bye.